Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only, Thrifty Gamer 83 here. You know, a while ago, I had pondered the idea of wondering whether or not failing sports franchises should lose some form of licensing agreement or leeway in regards to allowing their teams to be presented on a on an uncompetitive level. As a Bills fan, I know all about an uncompetitive team at this point in time. I am seeing it with tightwad Terry Pegula running us basically through an emotional hangover of just plain misanthropic tendencies towards fans in general. We are just falling apart as a fan base, and really hanging on to history does not help. Tightwad Terry, who proclaims himself as a fan, is quick to have us be reminded that, you know, well, he saved the team, he saved the city of New York, he saved the state of New York, he basically fleeced the state of New York, he has put out an uncompetitive product, he has had to have third-party vendors pick up an ailing and failing franchise which just barely churns a profit, and in turn, ownership just barely cares about their fans, really, really and truthfully. Failing and ailing franchises should really not be included, even under NFL licensing agreements, MLB agreements. Any other fan base would agree with me in that we cannot just keep taking on these hard luck stories of they were so close to the playoffs and they fell apart as per usual. They drafted a great first round pick and he was injured, skipped film sessions, skipped game room sessions, yes. That's where it is right now. That's just how far gone the sporting industry and enterprises are. Pegula Sports Enterprise or Entertainment or whatever it wants to call itself these days is just selling us a crap sandwich. And we're eating it. The Buffalo Bills and Buffalo Sabres, I know, I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan, Bless that, at least I escaped being a Sabres fan. But the Sabres and the Bills are just wallowing in obscurity. A subpar ownership regime, which really doesn't want to change much. But you know, the name sticks for Tightwad Terry. Everything is at a bottom line for Tightwad Terry. Yes, folks, there is a reason why uncompetitive franchises should not be showcased. They should not be shown whatsoever. If they want to improve, this isn't about parity, folks. This is about improvements. Real coaches hired improve football teams. And we have been seeing this. And it's now reaching 17 years. And Tightwad Terry is saying at the beginning of the season, well, I wanted consistency. Well, guess what, Terry? You got several failing and ailing franchises. And what does that give us? It gives us the consistency to know that you suck. Really? Tightwad Terry has given us no reason to have any faith in him. He takes no name schlub coaches and props them up and gives it to us. And he wants to sell it to us. Can you believe that? He wants to sell an uncompetitive franchise. So really, why should it be licensed in gaming? Why should it be shown in gaming? Why should we have to put up with every misanthropic owner who can't put together a competitive franchise? And this isn't like the Cowboys who missed the playoffs for three or four years. This is for drought teams. If you ain't making the playoffs in five years, you don't deserve to have a team featured in 
any capacity of a game. Really, the Buffalo Bills have done that much damage. The Sabres have done that much damage. All right, folks. Rant, rave, love, hate. I know I'm ranting, and I deserve to. Have a good one.